In uh, 2009, um, I had an idea that the first World Cup in Africa was coming and that I wanted to bring something special, a memorable experience for um, some young people living in rural areas of Africa. So I pitched to Starbucks to have them help me develop this idea. So with my Starbucks Share Planet Grant, I traveled from Kampala, Uganda to Cape Town, South Africa by public bus. And what I did along the way was talk to all kinds of community leaders and young people and said, what would you like to have memorable for the first World Cup in Africa? And almost unanimously, every young person said the same thing. We want to be able to watch the games. In rural areas where there was no electricity, we had a 20-foot inflatable screen, satellite dish, um, and the games were able to be brought live. And that brought the whole community together, young people and old. And really, we used that opportunity to do social um, services and education. I mean, at all these events that I went to, I would ask kids, what did you remember? What will you never forget about this? And almost every kid said the same thing. Um, they said, one day I'm going to play on that stage. You know, they had never really seen that before. And to me, what that told me was that the Starbucks Share Planet Grant helped me allow these kids to learn how to dream how to see beyond their village and have like a vision of, okay, maybe they're not going to be a soccer player, but maybe they become a doctor. Instead of just a village doctor, they see it as they're, they're part of this more global network of doctors. So I think that really the Shared Planet grant and what came of it helped allow these kids to dream in, in a new way.